All right, everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the BitLocker 1 challenge from PicoCTF 2025 in the forensics category. So the description says, Jackie is not very knowledgeable about the best security passwords and used a simple password to encrypt their BitLocker drive. See if you can break through the encryption. Download the disk image here. Okay, so we've got a link and what we need to do is we need to copy the link. So we're just going to right click on the link, select copy link, and then we're going to go over to our Kali Linux terminal over here. In the Kali Linux terminal, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. I'm going to have to clear this out a little bit later. Okay, we're going to use the, uh, well, let me go to another, to another, um, to another tab. Okay, we're going to do wget and we're going to download this um, this disk image file. So download the file. That's uh, we're going to download this file over here. It's um, bitlocker1.dd. So .dd files are disk image files. If we run the file command on bitlocker1.dd, it'll tell us that this is a dos/mbr boot sector file. So we don't know we don't know necessarily that this has been in, in, in encrypted using the BitLocker file um, BitLocker program, except for the fact that the challenge tells us so over here. Let's talk a little bit more about this challenge with our presentation. Oh, hold on, need to download this. Okay, so this is a BitLocker encrypted drive. So this challenge involves a disk image file that has been encrypted by the BitLocker application. So for anybody who doesn't know, BitLocker is a full volume encryption app that is included with Microsoft Windows. So if you're using a modern version of Windows, uh, Windows, I think it was, it was included with Windows 7 and Windows 8, but it was, um, it was a much harder user to app that, user, harder, much harder user much harder to use app back then. Uh, but with Windows 10 and with Windows 11, it is much easier to set up. And uh, BitLocker is often used to encrypt hard drives when the Windows operating system is not being used. For example, when the device is turned off. So this gives a bit more security to your, um, to your physical hard drives because otherwise people would be able to, um, to pull the hard drives out of your computer and uh, see everything on them. But if you encrypt them by using um, a service like BitLocker, then that becomes a lot harder to do. So BitLocker passwords can be cracked by using programs like John the Ripper and Hashcat. And this is what we're going to do for this particular, uh, this particular instance as well. So let's go ahead and solve the challenge. So the first thing we need to do is we need to extract the hash from the BitLocker file over here. So we're going to do that with um, with a little program called BitLocker to John, and what this is going to do is it's going to extract the hash from the BitLocker one .dd file, and we're going to redirect this into a file called BitLocker .hash. So let's run that file. Let's run that command. Okay, and we're going to see that there is a bitlocker.hash file now. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we've got a bunch of password hashes over here. And interestingly enough, I think bitlocker is encrypted using um, is encrypted using AES, which is not a particularly secure method of hashing. Let me just look this up real quick. So let's see, BitLocker encryption hashing method. Okay, so what, is, what, do we, what does it uh, say over here? So BitLocker uses the AES standard uh, algorithm for encryption with options for 128-bit or 256-bit key sizes and secures 
and supports both um, CBC, Cypher blockchaining, blockchaining and uh, Cypher text stealing XTS modes. Hmm. So AES, AES is still secure, right? MD5, I'm pretty sure, is not secure anymore. And I'm pretty sure to SHA, some versions of SHA are also not secure. But, uh, but anyways, let's, let's get back to the challenge. Okay, so we're, what we need to do after we get the hash over here is we need to crack it by using some sort of program. So programs like um, John the Ripper or Hashcat are very popular hash cracking programs. What we're going to do in this case is we're going to use John the Ripper because we've already prepared the, um, the hash file by using the, uh, the utility bitlocker to John. So it's going to be bitlocker.hash. So when we've prepared the, uh, the hash like this, the, the syntax is going to be very easy. So we just need to supply the name of the, of the program, John, and then dash dash and the word list of different um, passwords to crack against. So in this case, it's going to be the very, very popular rocku.txt word list, which has a, a list of the most popular 14 million passwords. And uh, let's go ahead and run this. So this is going to take a little while to crack. But, uh, but in the meantime, we're going to be installing a program to interact with, uh, with BitLocker on Kali Linux over here. So the program is called lib, libbdeutils. And on Kali Linux, we can install it with this command over here. So sudo apt install lib bde utils. We're going to give our password so we can install the program. OK, so that went well, that went over well. So we now have the, uh, the program installed on the, uh, on the computer. Let's take a look and see if we crack the hash. It's still, it's still cracking. It says loaded two password hashes with two different salts. BitLocker, so at least we know that it's using the, the correct type of encryption over here. And while it's working, we're going we're gonna, to um, set up an environment where we can start, we can start uh, mounting the, the disk image. So after we get the, after we get the password for BitLocker, we're going to mount the image onto our Kali Linux machine. And the first thing we need to do is this. We need to make a directory for the, uh, for the BitLocker mount. So we're going to create the directory over here in the mount directory. And we're, calling, we're going to call it the BitLocker directory like this. So the reason we have to use sudo is because normally we're not able to create. So the reason why we can't um, make a directory in the mount directory over here is because uh, it's not this should not normally not be um, writable by regular users. It should only be writable by the root user. So that's why we use sudo. So we give this command, and it looks like I've already created it before because the BitLocker directory exists. Um, hmm. Uh, that's because I've solved this direct. I've solved this challenge before, and I use this directory. Anyways, there you go. Okay. So what else do we need to do? Um, Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get, we need to um, access the disk image. So let's see if we managed to brute force the password. So the password hasn't been brute forced yet. So we're just going to sit tight. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Okay, so it looks like we managed to get the password. So the password for Jackie's file is Jacqueline. So I guess that was... Um, <laughs> We we might have been able to guess that if we were if we were doing um, some in depth analysis. Anyways, this is the password. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount the the file system, and the way we do that is like this. So we're going to do sudo bde mount, and we need to provide the uh, the password for the BitLocker installation. So P bde mount is for mounting BitLocker. BitLocker um, image um, disk image files. We run it with the password, which is Jacqueline. We run it with the 
with the name of the disk image, which is bitlocker1.dd, and we mount it into a specific directory, which is slash mnt mount bitlocker. So let's go ahead and run that command. Okay, so we just mounted the um, the disk image file to this directory right here. Um, so from here, we probably want to become the root user to make it a lot easier for us to access the system. Because these uh, these mounted file systems are usually only accessible to um, to the root user. So we can move inside that directory. Okay, so we see there's this um, BDE1. BDE1 is a directory. Oh, wait, BDE1 is not a directory. So what is this? BDE, BDE1 is a, oh, boot sector, okay. So this is the um, this is the disk image file. We previously didn't have access to it. Well, we did have access to it, but it was encrypted. So we couldn't read anything from it. But what we can do now is we can just look for the flag inside of this file. If we try to look through this file uh, on its own, it's really big. What we're going to do instead is we're going to look for some strings inside of here, and we're going to look for the PicoCTF flag. So we're just going to get the strings from this file, and we're going to grep for the uh, PicoCTF flag by grepping with Pico. So if we do that, we get this. PicoCTF, use better passwords, please. Great. Let's copy this. And then we'll go over to the PicoCTF challenge over here. And in the flag submission field, paste in the password. Sorry, paste in the, uh, the flag. Click on submit flag. And then you're done. All right, everybody. This was a guided walkthrough for the BitLocker 1 challenge, which is a forensics challenge from PicoCTF 2025 event. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.